I'm on this Roman road again. It's only about four o'clock. It's nice to do this alternative route sometimes. That bee, look at those bees in there, look. It's really good. Watching the bees. This is Roman Road. Now I could have gone down the valley back there, which I'll do another time. I might even do it in a couple of days. I might do a short walk, get a bus to Hutton, go through Hutton Wood, do a circular and come back down this way. What is Bentnell? Here's the sea, the coast. I was on those hills this time last week, still walking in the heat. Lovely place up here though, isn't it? Good clean air I would have thought up here. Yeah. Good clean air. Yeah. Just doing a little bit of video along here. I don't know if I've videoed any more anything else. I might have done. Lovely though, innit? Have the money to have somewhere like this out here. So the other half lives here. No, go. No. Nice to us. Nice gardens. Beautiful, innit? Very beautiful up here. I like to come up and have a look now and again. Right, now then, before I walk across this field here, I just want to go down here a bit to see a plaque. Right, I'm just going to turn the camera down a minute. Right, you see this? It's like Elvis is this Gracelands. Just now we had Gorse Lands. Now we've got Gracelands. See? In there. Don't know if, I don't even know if anybody lives in there. No windows open, look. Looks like the grass needs cut in. That's Gracelands. Lovely, isn't it, to have something like that? Bell not working, please call. Mm. Just thinking, Elvis, Gracelands. <laughs> I've seen some brickwork done a minute ago and it had um, these lovely beakers embedded in the, in the wall. Um, they were of golf, golfing beakers. I think one was horse riding, and they looked really nice beakers, and they were embedded in the wall. There was also like a little um, church window as well. Right, the reason I've come here is just wanted to see this bench. Because I remember this bench when I first came here. And uh, I'm going to go back and get that path back there in a minute. This is um, in celebration of the life of George Wall, 1927 to 1999, friend and farmer of Bleeden, and thus we sit together now sharing his favourite view. So I'm going to have a little rest, a drink. But you can't see, no one's cut the hedge so you can't really see the view he would have had if you sat down here. See? Over now. <sighs> Helen Shell Nature Reserve. Western tip of the men to bear of outstanding beauty. A site of nature conservation importance. Superb views over the Somerset levels towards Bridgewater Bay and across the Severn Estuary to the Welsh Hills. So that's over there. And that ain't the Welsh Hills, by the way. That's wrong, because if you look across that bay there, that's the Quantock Hills. 
you'd have to look around the corner. A lot of people will now think that's a Welsh Hills. So that was wrong information. The Welsh Hills will be over there. Maybe you'll see them when you get down there. There's Brent now. So in the roundabout way, I'd probably do an equal. Right, probably do an equal. That's what I would have done if I'd gone the other way. But hopefully there's no cows. I can actually see cows right over there though, look. There are cows here. Fortunately, they're right over there. They might be in a completely different field. Hopefully, I don't have to go in that field. Look, there is cow pack. I've got a feeling I just go through this gate here and I go straight down. And I re meet, meet a road. That's what I remember. It's getting warm again now, you know. The sun's come out. So it's a beautiful summer's day again. It went quite cool earlier, which was nice. I hope I don't meet those horses. They seem a bit frisky. I've got to get to that gate. It's baking. Cows do come in here, look. There's a gate open there, though. And if we look over there, we can see Breen Down, which I did the other week, two weeks ago. And Steep Home Island. See? I walked all the way along there. God, it's really hot again. It's really hot. Well, the thing is, I'm making the most of the summer weather, right? Because it's August now. Getting darker each day. Not that I'd stay out walking in the evenings, because I don't. But, it does mean it's warmer for longer at the moment. I'll just wear more clothes anyhow. There's something nice about walking in the, in the countryside. With the sun nice and hot on your back. I'm walking towards Brentnall. I've got, my uh, camera might be a bit wobbly. Because I've got the uh, walking stick. I'm having to carry the walking stick. It was last week I didn't take it out much. But I have found, I do find it useful when I'm doing a long hike. Going up and down hills. Um, it's also like a bit of protection when you're out. You feel like that anyway. <sighs> Quite warm now. It's alright having an hat on to stop the sun, but you don't have to make your head hot. The actual hat. No, I haven't done this for a couple of years. So I've got to keep remembering and it always changes. One minute they've got cows in the food, then they haven't, and then they then they got them back. And you can see that they have been here, but is it that herd over there? That, that roam freely. Over and out a minute.